friends, welcome to Chem Time with Manasa. Friends, this video is about calculation of coordination number of central metal atom in a coordination complex. And friends, I have already uploaded videos about the basic terms of coordination chemistry and types of ligands. Please watch those videos and please subscribe to my channel to get more videos related to chemistry. Don't forget to press the bell icon to get notification regarding new videos. Okay friends, let's come to today's topic, coordination number of central metal atom. Friends, first let us know what is the meaning of coordination number of a central metal atom. In a coordination entity or in a coordination complex, the number of ligand donor atoms to which the central metal atom is directly bonded is nothing but coordination number. Or simply we can say that coordination number is nothing but the number of coordination bonds formed by the central metal atom. And we can easily calculate that coordination number by using this formula coordination number is equal to number of ligands into density. But actually this formula is not necessary. If you solve or if you calculate the coordination number of a central metal atom for uh, 15 to 20 complexes then you can easily calculate this coordination number by just looking at the complex itself. But uh, it's better to know this formula also. Coordination number is equal to number of ligands into density. And of course friends if you have any doubt about this density or what is that ligand or coordination entity etc. Please watch my previous videos. Okay friends, to explain this coordination number, let me consider uh, two coordination complexes ML6 and MLL3. ML6 and MLL3. If you ask to calculate the coordination number for these two complexes, then for this it is 6 and for this it is 3. If 6 and 3 is your, uh, is your answer, then it is completely wrong. Because coordination number and number of ligands are always not equal to each other. Number of ligands and coordination number of the central metal atom may or may not be equal to each other. Let me draw the structures of these two complexes. Here, central metal atom is attached to 6 monodentate ligands. Monodentate ligands. Here, LL means it is a didentate ligand. In that case, M, L, L. It is the structure of these two complexes M L6 and M L L thrice. Here L L are the donor atoms of the didentate ligand. So coordination number means number of ligand donor atoms to which metal is directly bonded. Here central metal atom is attached to 1, 2, 3, 4, 5. 6. So, here also coordination number is 6. Number of ligands is 3. But all the 3 are didentate ligands. So, coordination number is 6. Here, 6 ligands are there, unidentate or monodentate ligands are there and metal is attached to all the 6 donor atoms. So, here also coordination number is 6. We can use this formula also here. Number of ligands 6 into density 1 is equal to 6. Here number of ligands 1, 2, 3 and density, density of ligands is equal to 2. So it is 6. Didentate ligands, so number of ligands into density 3 into 2 is equal to 6. So, while calculate the coordination number, you have to remember one thing.
thing is coordination number and number of ligands may or may not be equal to each other. Here 6 and 3 are number of ligands but in both the cases coordination number is 6. Or let me consider example. First let us consider CO NH3 6 times Cl3. CO NH3 6 times Cl3. Let me draw this structure here. Cobalt then. So friends actually it is about uh, coordination number is calculate for the ligands or in a coordination entity or coordination sphere. The ions present outside the coordination sphere are termed as counter ions. While calculating the coordination number just look at the ligands or ions present in the coordination sphere. So here CO NH3 6 times So it is the structure of this complex CONH3 6 times 3 plus. Here donor atom. So it is also an important uh, term. Donor atom means here in ammonia there are 4 atoms. 1 nitrogen and 3 hydrogen atoms. Nitrogen is donating the pair of electrons to the cobalt ion to form this coordinate bond. So here nitrogen is the donor atom of the ligand. So cobalt is attached to 6 nitro, uh, ammo, ammo, ammonia ligand. So CONH3 6 times 3 plus. Here 3 chloride ions are counter ions. So while calculating the coordination number just calculate or uh, uh, just give attention to the ligands. Let me consider another example. CONEN thrice 3 plus. CO En thrice 3 plus. Here also CO En. ligands are attached to cobalt or CO3 plus ion but the number of coordinate bond formed by the metal atom is 1, 2, 3, 4, 5, 6. Here number of ligand donor atoms. So here just 3 ligands but each ligand is didentate or it forms 2 coordinate bond with the central metal atom. So totally 1, 2, 3, 4, 5, 6. 6 coordinate bonds are formed or the central metal atom is attached to 6 ligand donor atoms. So coordination number is 6. Or you can simply use this formula also. Number of ligands here, 6 NH3 ligands are there and all the ligands, for all the ligands, density is equal to 1. Ammonia ligand is Unidentate. So 6 into 1 that's 6. Here ethane 1 to diamine is number of ligands 3 into. Ethane 1 to diamine is didentate ligand. So it is equal to 2 equal to 6. If you can't understand this structure just assume that CH2, CH2, NH2, NH2. Here two nitrogen atoms are donating the pair of electrons to the central metal atom. So two nitrogen to metal atom. Here also En thrice. That means nitrogen atoms of two nitrogen atoms of the ethane one two diamond molecules are donate the pair of electron to cobalt metal atom. Friends, hope this is uh, clear to you. Let me consider more examples. Here just remember that number of ligands and coordination number 
may or may not be equal to each other. And here the formula for coordination number is number of ligands into density or now coordination number is nothing but the number of coordination bonds formed by the metal atom or the number of ligand donor atoms to which metal atom is directly bonded. Let me consider the examples. Okay friends, now let us calculate coordination number of central metal atom for all these complexes. Friends, before the calculation of that coordination number, I will tell you super trick to remember the ligands. Actually, in class 12 NCRT book, only two diidentate ligands are mentioned. That is, ethylene 1,2-diamine and oxalate ligand. So, just remember the word oxy. Just remember the word oxy. It is the plural form of ox. If there are two or more animals, then we use Oxen. Similarly, for didentate ligands, density is equal to 2. We, uh, we will remember the, those ligands, didentate ligands by this for oxen. Ox for oxalate and en for ethane 1 to diamond. So, all other ligands are generally, of course, there are so many tridentate or even didentate ligands are there. But in class 12 NCRT book, only two are mentioned, oxalate and ethane 1 to diamond. So, just remember this one and generally all the other uh, ligands are monodentate ligands. So, let us calculate this. Here, uh, it is NiH2O6 times 2 plus. The ligand is H2O. It is unidentate ligands. We can use the formula also. The formula for coordination number, number of ligands into density of the ligands. Here, H2O. Six. Six ligands are there and all are unidentate ligands. So, coordination number is six. Then, NiH2O2 En twice 2 plus. Here, two H2O ligands and density is equal to one. Similarly, two En ligands. En ligands, density is equal to 2 into 1, that is, that's equal to 2 plus 4, 6. 2 didentate ligands, 2 plus 4, 6. NiH2O twice, En twice, 2 plus. 2 unidentate ligands and 2 didentate ligands. So, coordination number is 6. Then, PtNH3 twice, Cl2. 2 into Unidentate ligands plus 2 into unidentate ligands that is equal to 4. 2 plus 2, 4. In this complex, Pt, NH3 twice, Cl2, coordination number of central metal atom is 4. Then, K3, Fe, C2O4, thrice. Here, 3 potassium ions are counter ions. While calculating the coordination number, just calculate the ligands or the ions or atoms present in the coordination sphere. So, don't bother about the counter ions like K3 or Cl. Sometimes uh, uh, chloride ions or SO4 uh, 2 minus ions are present outside the coordination sphere. Don't bother about those counter ions. Just look at the ligands. Here, number of ligands 3 into C2O4 my C2O4 2 minus means it is didentate ligand. It is oxalate ligand. So didentate ligand it is coordination number is 6. Fe C2O4 thrice 3 ligands but the density is equal to 2. So it is 6. Coordination number of metal atom in this complex 6. Cu Cl5 3 minus. It is very simple example. 5 into Cl minus unidentate ligand. So, 5 into 1 is equal to 5. Coordination number is 5. Then, Pt Cl2 En twice. Here also, 2 unidentate ligands and 2 didentate ligands. It is equal to 2. 2 into 1 plus 2 into 2. En didentate ligand. So, it is 6. Then, 
Cu H two O four times two plus four into one that is equal to four. Number of ligands four. Density one that is four. Next Cr Cl two O X twice. Friends here it is written as C two O four. It is O X. Both are same. Oxalate ligands. Didentate ligand here. Two unidentate ligand Cl two plus two didentate ligand two oxalate ligand. So it is equal to two plus four is equal to six. Is the coordination number of metal atom in this complex here. Cr Cl two O X twice three minus. Friends, hope this calculation is so uh, clear to you. Just look at the ligands. If it is unidentate or didentate. If it is unidentate, then number of ligands is nothing but the coordination number. But in the coordination complex, if didentate ligands or polydentate ligands are present, then coordination number and number of ligands are not equal to each other. For example, here. Then you can use the formula, or if you can calculate the coordination number by just looking at the complex, you can calculate. If you if you are using the formula, then number of ligands into density plus if uh, there are uh, if it is uh, heteroelectric complex, that means two or more types of ligands are there. Then uh, number of ligands into density plus number of ligand into density of the each ligand. So it is. Six or uh, you can get the coordination number easily. So you have to remember this one oxane for two didentate ligands oxalate and ethane one to diamine. Friends, hope uh, this uh, calculation of coordination number is clear to you. If you have any doubt, please write it in the comment section. I will try to solve your doubts and please write your opinion about this video in the comment section. Please subscribe to my channel to get more videos related to chemistry and please like this video and share this video with your friends. Very soon I will upload the video about the calculation of oxidation number of central metal atom. Please wait for that video and thank you.